DA says Anna Walsh's murder is the second homicide involving suspected domestic violence in Norfolk County in a month. Our team coverage continues with WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer, who visited a help center that aids victims of domestic violence. In the beginning, they are Prince Charming. They are very charismatic. Maureen Flores is the Civilian Domestic Violence Advocate Program Manager at Dove in Quincy, which stands for Domestic Violence Ended. She says there are often warning signs that victims of abuse deny in the beginning. Somebody putting their partner down, making them feel bad, blaming them for all their problems. Starting with blame, threats, and putting the other person down. You know, when you're in a relationship, those things don't really feel like red flags. Threats like Anna experienced back in 2014. The WBZI team uncovering a police report from August of that year where Anna told police Brian Walsh threatened to kill her and her friends. Before they were married, she had said that he yeah. threatened to mm -hmm. kill her and her friends. Mm -hmm. But she still married him. She still married him because that's denial at its finest. You get convinced that. The problems would be solved if we were just married. Prosecutors revealing today that just days before Anna's murder on December 27th, Brian Walsh Googled best state for divorce for a man. And of course, when somebody does take a step to leave or end the relationship, is always a really um, dangerous time. Now, this Instagram photo Anna Walsh posted in 2018 is getting comments from people following the case, wondering if there were serious issues in the relationship years prior. What would you say in response to seeing a photo like that? You know, maybe it was from him, maybe it wasn't from him. That she posted that herself could have been her way of covering her bruises. The Dove Center recommends finding a way to have a conversation with your loved one if you suspect they're being abused. It's always good for somebody to say, I just want to ask because I care about you and I'm concerned and I don't know what this is. The Dove Center here does have a 24-hour hotline. If you're looking for a similar abuse center, you can go to Mass.gov's website for a full list by county. In Quincy, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News. Good resources there for Jordan from Jordan. And you can also see here on the screen, if you or someone you know needs to escape abuse at home, number one, you're not alone. Number two, there is help out there for you. 800-799-7233. Give that domestic violence hotline a call. There will be someone on the other end of the phone 24-7 working to help you.